I want to show you a couple things real quick, okay? So the we have another, see that chrysalis? That's a monarch butterfly chrysalis. And what I want you to notice is that it is, see how it's got that jade green color? You're starting to almost kind of see the wings, all right? So let me take you back here to my Brussels sprouts, which aren't doing so good. And I want to show you another, there it is. Here's another chrysalis. See that one? You see how you can kind of see the wings? You see the wings forming? That's pretty cool, huh? The wings are starting, you're starting to see the wings. See the patterns of the wings there? Let me see if I can get it to focus. It's too close, it won't focus. There you go, there's the pattern of the wings. So that's pretty cool. But this is my Brussels sprouts. They're not really doing so good. This is what they did last year. Oh, they're kind of getting there, huh? They're starting to form. Hopefully they'll, hopefully they'll grow down in there. But I'm gonna have to look up Brussels sprouts to see what I'm doing wrong. I want some nice big Brussels sprouts. I won't keep y'all too long. What I wanna show you, see this? My Swiss chard grew really well. I need to, you need to give them room. I was planting my Swiss chard uh, too close together. You gotta plant them out. So this is good. This year I planted them, I spaced them far out and they're good. My kale's doing good. I cut my cauliflower, see all the kale? Look, my dinosaur kale there. My mustard, my Japanese mustard went crazy. Look at this thing. This is a volunteer plant, came back from last year. I didn't replant this. See, and I'm leaving it to flower. And what I found out this year is that you can eat all the parts. You can eat these flowers and stuff. So I would snip these off and make a nice saute or put it in a soup. Okay. So I had three Napa cabbages. Here's one, two, three. I thought I, sp I spaced them out far enough and you can see they're really, they're still too tight. So this is the big one I think I'm gonna harvest. I mean, these are like, see these big leaves, these older leaves. See, see down here, you can, you can see the little white tiny spines. Can you see them? <clears throat> they're little prickly spines. So that's why I was kind of like, can't be eating those they're white little prickly spines on there but <clears throat> the inside ones don't have it so that's what I think like this is the Napa cabbage right here and it's ready to go I'm thinking I'm gonna take the big one here's the little one that one's nice too yeah this one's good too this one's gonna be nice too isn't that awesome I have four of them there's three and here's four. But imagine feeding your family this. Can you see the little white spines on here? On the leaves? And you peel them back. So I think those those are big. I mean, they are like, see that? They're the size, they're bigger than my hand. Whoops, just broke off a leaf. So I think they're gonna be ready to go. Oh, here's my little celery. Look at that. Just showed you all the celery I planted and then all the little lettuces <sighs> little bib lettuce eat it eat this hmm here's my big ass radish okay so this one is a long this one's gonna be too no bueno but look back here whoa look at that radish all right who wants to pull it out Look at that big ass radish. Okay, pull this bad boy out. Check this out. Here we go. One, two, three. Whoa, it's coming out so easy, guys. It's unbelievable. And you know, this lasagna gardening technique, This the bed is so soft. Oh man, yeah. Here we go, one, two, three. Our baby, oh my God, he's gigantic. Whoa! Look at that! Damn! That is the size of a baseball. It's actually 
I would say even a softball. It's huge. Look at that. I'm gonna eat the green tips. Hold on. Look at that. Look at that radish, man. How cool is that bad boy? Love it. Size of a baseball, a white radish. And then you can eat the tops too, so don't forget about that. Okay. But boom. All right, let's let's harvest this uh, Napa cabbage. I think I'm gonna go go for it. I think I'm gonna do the big one. Okay. I'm trying to do this so y'all can see it. All right, here we go. Okay. This is my first time. Y'all gonna witness. I'm gonna lose my virginity. My very first Napa cabbage. Check this out. It's gonna be awesome. Ready? All right. Get my knife in here. I'm going in for the big one. Oh, you know what? This freaking. I can just pull it right. Oh, damn! I did it. Whoa! Look at that! I'm so excited! Look at that! Whoa! All right. And then what you do is you just take off these leaves on the outside, throw them into your compost. Look at that root! Just slice it right off. How amazing is this, guys? How cool is this? Oh, can't wait to like put this in the soup, stir fry. Wow. This looks like one you buy from the store, huh? Like, oh, you're wasting the cabbage. Wow. Yeah, baby. Yeah. Boom shakalaka, baby. Look at that. Look at that. It's perfect Napa cabbage. It's like, it's like what you see in the stores. It's so crazy. Look at that. How cool. All right. And then this, this just stays right here. And it gets recomposted. Maybe this other one's We'll have room to grow now. My knife. Look at that bad boy. It's like perfect. Perfect cabbage, baby. All right, don't go anywhere. How cool was that? Yeah. Damn, how cool was that, everybody? What do you guys think? How cool was that? Um, you know, gardening is much more than just about harvesting and growing food. It's about reconnecting with our soul, our source. Remember, when you plant your garden, there's intention. When you nourish it, you gotta inject it with intention and compassion. Be amazing. All right, you guys go have a great day. I'll see you later. Bye, guys.